Oh no, Mrs. Naidu. I would not like to do anything as well as with that. The British people are in difficulty at present. There is war on. This is Britain's hour of need and we must enter its assistance. I would not like to take advantage of the government's preoccupation. I would like to call upon all Indians and people of other nationalities residing in Britain to do their bits towards the war effort. Those who enjoy the benefits of the system must volunteer on the armed forces. The armed forces? But isn't that contrary to your own? If they are adherents of non-violence, then they can join the medical corps that I suppose to set up. But they cannot escape their clear duty to do something helpful at this juncture. You have a point. In that house cannot take guys in the shelter of non-violence. Do you think we could cut about a hundred Indians to form an ambulance corps? I I shall try. But I must confess, Mr. Gandhi, you puzzle and astound me. Lord, he seemed sounded too when I first made the offer soon after arrival. He was sure nobody would believe it of me. So, I promised to send it to him a driveway and that is what I should do now. Okay, what are you waiting for? Go on, get to work. No wonder Mr. Gokhale says that you have the capacity to mold heroes out of common clay. And heroines. I find women often work better than men under conditions of stress. I am a member of Lycan Club. I am sure the ladies there would be happy to do anything for... Excellent. They can cut patterns of cloths for the uniforms. We need about 150 to start with. The men can do the stitching of the sewing and... Let me know how you progress by tomorrow morning. Yes? I have never been struck speechless before. Off you go then. <coughs> Thank you. For what? For making me feel so useful. <laughs> Ego, ego, ego. Vanity, vanity, vanity. Shut up. Uh -uh. Self control. Ahimsa. Non violence. On Tolstoy farm, you once lost your temper and struck a mischievous boy. It, it taught him a lesson. Ah, so non violence happens here. <coughs> but participation in work can never be consistent without Ahimsa. You have promised that. Yes. And I admit that I'm hoping to improve my status and of my people through the British Empire. You mean when the British government will see that you can't be ordered like a slave, but you voluntarily are, you may recompense a greater freedom, even a dominion post. That's right. The same distinction I made in South Africa between coerced registration and voluntary registration. Oh, it's such a distinction. You almost got killed by that Pathan Miralam. But I was hoping Smarts would see the point. Your naive and gullibility are so ingrained that you have turned them into higher philosophers. <laughs> Go on, make me hate myself. Rob me of my confidence. Didn't the poet say, Thus conscious make us cowards of all? I am what I am and I must admit that. Then face me. Face the facts. Face us. I am prepared to confess my feelings to the world and I shall at first opportunity. What an indulgence. Yes, yes. With me. Flagellate me. Make me suffer from a circus. I am doing it merely as my duty to the empire. <laughs> You are afraid of ghosts, apparitions and things in the dark. You have made fearlessness a part of your own dream. If a man is lame, may he not walk with a stick? A farm? Oh, oh please, you were disgusted by the fact that your father was so highly sex that he had to get himself for a wife. You have a putly wife who is 25 years younger than him. What a neck he was. And you, huh, you yourself enjoyed having sex so much that you were lost in the rotten condition of Kasturi. Lost in the excitement of lust. Unmindful of your father who was dying calling out to you in the next room? That was my analogy. That girl rises up to you more than any other boy. I can never face her. Father. So you blame not yourself but your desire. You say you do not say there is time and place for it. You choose the wrong time and place. It, it offends me. I cut it off. I prefer Brahmacharya. You were a thief. As your child you stole money for cigarettes. <laughs> Thou shall not see in the Bible says. Not Shilly was one of your eleven wars. You wanted to be wealthy? I urge non-possession. No temptations for thieves, no lord for robbers. Better to have nothing. No distraction from the path of purity. You have been hiding yourself from yourself. I shall write it all, state it all, publish it. The truth I shall see free. And now this? Pull up and others will be horrified when they are of it. You are not even taking the path of conscientious objector and refraining from participation. You are helping in the pursuit of war. I am doing it merely as my duty to the 
and valor. The truth of matter is staring in the face, but you will not look at it. You know why I said it comes medical box, not for the fourth, but for the third time. And again in a time of war? <laughs> Tell me. Because you always wanted to be a doctor. Not with your mud packs and potions. But a proper doctor. Yes. I love nursing the sick, healing the wound. I wanted to be a doctor. But your family was against it. Remember the words? We Vaishnavas should have nothing to do with the taxation of dead bodies. So you couldn't have become a qualified doctor, huh? After all, a war provides a break with normalcy. A man can help by what he always wanted to do. But after the war, what will you do? I shall travel silently in a year in India as Gokhali has suggested. Then I shall speak out truthfully, without fear or favor. But right now, I have a letter to post. Gandhiji, ever since you arrived in India, I've been hearing of your concern for the poor. What a blunt speech you made at the Banarasi Hindu University. It upset many people, but it gave us hope. Gandhiji, please come to our assistance. Gandhiji. What is it? Uh, uh, Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm a little bit of a hug. Wait, wait, please. I came to Lucknow all the way from Chambaran only to meet you. I know you'll be here attending meetings for the International Congress, but thousands of peasants like me are suffering to grow indigo and supply it to the British planters. What is indigo? And where is Champaran? Come with me. We'll go by train. I'll show you a suffering. I I have no time now. What is indigo? Indigo is a plant used to grow vegetable dye. Under the Tinkharia system, we are forced to grow it on a part of our land no matter what the difficulty. It is a lot of hardship. Even if we are starving, we have to grow indigo. Get someone to move a resolution to the Congress expressing sympathy. Please, would you? I have to go to Calcutta. Welcome to Calcutta. What are you doing here? In Bhupen Babu's house? I told them we would be travelling together, so they let me stay. Hmm. What audacity. Alright, what is the way to Champaran? From Calcutta we go to Patna, from Patna to Muzaffarpur, and from Muzaffarpur to Motihari in Tilhat, and from there to Bethi, and from Bethi to my place in Champaran. Very well then, show me the way. Uh, I <laughs> hope you don't mind. How can I mind when you are so persistent and have so much faith in my ability to help you? I mean, I hope you don't mind that we shall be travelling by train, bullock carts and finally by the films. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely amazing. He's sweeping through the countryside like a forest fire. Not without reason, Jabhar. He works hard. These are the case studies of the success of the Satyagraha. As compiled them for your father, Motilanti must accomplish to understand how carefully Gadi works. It's not all airy fairy high heaven talk. In Jabharan alone, he deposited 8,000 statements. 8,000? Good heavens. As a barrister myself, I know what that means. So he's both organized and other worldies. What a combination. Oh, I'm so sorry my father's keeping you waiting. Shall I check what's holding him? No, no, please. I'm early. Well, I'm jolly glad I came back from my ride when I did. It's given me a chance to have a chat with you. And I'm like to know more about this phenomenon. Uh, phenomenon? Gandhi. Ah. I'm trying to decide whether I should argue with him or agree with him. <laughs> you will join us for breakfast, won't you? No, thank you. I've already eaten. I used to get up lazily by 8 and eat by 9, but Gandhiji has changed all that. One snide remark from him and I'm a different creature. That's his forte, changing people. I'd better watch out there. Oh, he'll change you whether you agree with him or not. I'm told that young English officers newly arrived in India are warned. Stay away from Gandhi or he'll get you. Well, he certainly got the presence of India. They call him as Baku as a father and the great poet Rabindranath Tagore has hailed him as a Mahatma. Mahatma Gandhi, you know the other day a friend told me, it is only India that knows how to honor greatness and life. It's a home which empress cannot buy. <coughs> Mahatma Gandhi ki! Jai! Mahatma Gandhi ki! Jai! Mahatma Gandhi ki! Jai! Bharat Pata! Sindhabad! Bharat Pata! Sindhabad! Bharat Pata! Sindhabad! During the four years of the war, I have spent many anguish days. I have, I have trust the countries that India would successfully be a conclusion status. India would also have a dominant status.
Name will be tried without jury. I have spent many anguish days and sleepless nights wondering what next step should I take non-violently so that the government does not take our determination for granted. Go on, tell them how deeply troubled you are. They derive the strength from you and you derive the strength from them. Deeply troubled. You searched everywhere for a way. You searched with it. Search with it. Then in a flash, you suddenly realize what must be done. Then in a flash, I realize what must be done. I was sick with worry, lying on the bed. Then an inner voice between waking and sleeping said to me, On a chosen day, let the whole nation come to a standstill to demonstrate that the will of the people is greater than the might of the government. So let us mark the start of our nationwide Satyagraha in absolute peace, prayer, quiet. Mahatma Gandhi ki! Mahatma Gandhi ki! The people of Europe, before they were touched by the so-called modern civilization, had much in common with the people of the East. 
even now, you can say travel back to bring through the materialism of modern civilization, are far better able to fix it than years. Today, unfortunately, there is no such thing as Western or European civilization, it is only modern civilization. Frankly, Baku, I have a great difficulty explaining your method. Then why do you follow me? Because idealism moves me, and I see it means no harm to anyone. And haven't the heart to deserve your dream? Also, there seems to be nothing better on the horizon. Ha ha ha. At least you're truthful. That's the first qualification for Sunday break. And what is the second? Non-violence. I told you about Temple Temple. Oh, just stand <coughs> up. Can't abide food. Well, you have to put up with me. <coughs> you said you had a surprise for me. Go on. What is it? Even I thought at first it was some kind of wooden cycle. But it is what you have been looking for all these years. Ganga Pen Majumdar finally found it in someone's law. The spinning wheel. The ancient times are not spinning wheel. The peasant woman said, the farmer's secondary occupation. The poor man's also been found. I knew you would be pleased. Please, I'm overjoyed. When my inner voice told me to look for it more than 10 years ago, I wrote about it in a hand wrote, not knowing the difference. So this is a spinning wheel. How does it work? Nobody knows. Everyone at the ashram has tried it. Surely one of the years has some idea how. They all know how to weave cloth on a loom. They know about bobbins and shuttles. But they don't know how to spin yarn on a wheel. We still buy all our yarn from the mills. It comes in slivers. Oh, what a tragedy. Here I am, hoping to recover a lost art for which India was famous. An art that was well made destroyed by the colonialists in order to create a market for Western industrialization. Folklore says they cut out the thumbs of the viewers. Here I am, hoping to recover lost art, for which India was famous. I am trying to find a way for India's millions to once again be self-reliant, self-sufficient, and we still have to depend on mills for the thread which we can make our own cloth. In the secret of the ancient spinning game lies the salvation for India. You know what I have been thinking? You have finally learned how to make good speeches. Ha ha ha. And you the secret of that? You? You have given me something to say. Gandhi took this principle movement as his own. 
the sooner or later the mullahs will step in and extremists will take over. To play with religion is to play with dynamite. Hmm. And how is all of this affecting you? Badly. It frightens me. What I do? Uh, I've never been such staunch or religious. More of a march might become, the more of a I must be. Thank you. 
the wife's royal chance to repeal to the salt law. It's only fair. Write the letter to the wife's royal. I am doing what I have to do next. You mean? Exactly. I finally found a book that teaches you how to manufacture salt. Either you just find it and mine it, or you take some salty water and... That's hilarious. It's not. I just managed to learn how to spin. Look, that's my quota of yarn for the day. In fact, I made it even sari for my wife Kamla. And now I find, in order to be free, I must make salt. Well, we are all caught in a web of love spun by the mystic spinner. I'm impressed, but most of all, Jawa, I'm impressed at how much he has changed you. <coughs> I first heard of you in England as Joey. Someone said to me, you must meet a young Joe Nehru, a terrific ah, chap. That must have been around the same time someone told me to read Sarah Nairu's poetry. She writes divinely. I read Sarojini but never heard of Sarah. I'd be damned if I was going to read Sarah Nairu's poetry. So, we admit it, it was Sammy who gave us the confidence to be ourselves. A Our beautiful self. Easy, easy. Don't be narcissistic. We are still finding ourselves. And I thought we were talking about Babu. Who's Sammy? As they say, one and the same. The mystic master. The Mickey Mouse Mahatma. I wish you wouldn't talk of him like that. Oh, I know you are the one telling me to go and all titans about the hero worship. And not talk lightly of that Mahatma. I didn't mean that at all. I just went all those alliteration jars on me. Mystic Master, Mickey Mouse Mahatma. I'm told you address him as the spiritual spinning spider <laughs> and sign yourself off as the vocal whisper wanderer. I'm not really offended, just pretending. Anyways, isn't it amazing? Babu decides on a pinch of salt to shake an empire and adds a drama for 240 mile walk to it. 240 miles at 10 miles a day means 24 days. By then, the world will be waiting with a pinch of salt. Magnifique, the walk of Napoleon from Elba. Master Singer is like out of bondage. Where does he get his instinct for theatre? Well, this leadership certainly brings up the suspension of disbelief. And I think he's one of the greatest wonder of the world. I couldn't think of him otherwise. And now, I'm going to join him at a dandy for the historic moment.
from where I stood, I heard the sickening wax of the club on the unprotected skulls. The waiting crowd of watchers ground and sucked in their breaths in sympathetic pain at every blow. Those struck down fell sprawling, unconscious or writhing in pain with fractured skulls or broken shoulders. In two or three minutes, the ground was quilted with bodies. Great patches of blood widened on their white clothes. Enough, 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 my god, Clancy, I can't believe we're doing this. This is what Gandhi meant by preparing the people for non-violence. It makes me sick to my stomach. I have got to find a way to lift the ban on the Congress Working Committee and hold talks with Gandhi. But the idea was a bypass answer. It was, dear boy, it was. But everything changed in politics. Perspectives, everything. Complicated game, sir. I'll get Gandhi out of jail and invite him up for talks. About the dispatch, sir? The dispatch. Oh. That's painful. Very painful. Why did I go? Show the kind of loginess we're dealing with. Damn it. Absolutely ruined my breakfast. <coughs> It puts Gandhi in his place. 
Let me know how he responds. If he has any response. Now they seek by this document, the so-called draft constitution, to turn India into separate common electorate and caste divisions. Here in Yerwada jail, I say to you, my brothers, as I have said elsewhere before, that I am a Banya and there is no limit to my greed. It has always been my dream and heart's desire to speak not only for 210 million but for 300 million Indians. So, today you may not accept the position of mine, but I may assure you all that I have always spoken for the Hindu Muslim unity and the removal of untouchability. So do not dismiss it merrily as a grace of my old age. My heart is confident that God will grant me that position to speak for the whole of India. And if I have to drive, striving for that idol, I shall achieve the peace of my heart.
response to that is demand is positive. Me too, sir. It would have been sad to lose the silly old food to his own stupidity. It would have been a bit like Christ crucifying himself. Clancy, I think you and I should have a little drink. Regiment refused to fire on the Satyagrahi. The freedom movement is like a giant wave sweeping the country, and it doesn't matter that all the leaders are in jail. Why are you stunned? That in prison is no different from that outside. Kasturba has only followed his secretary, Mahadev Desai, into the great beyond. What am I going to do now? Continue as before. But without her? Death is as much a part of life as life is of death. Her body is taking a long time to burn. The flame of the funeral pyre are gentle with her. You could go to her room and rest, but... How can I leave her during the last moments on earth? She will never forgive me if I did. She was always looking for ways to set you straight. Thank God we found the sari she loved. She loved it because you spun it for her. With your own hands. White cotton with a red border. I call it the birthday sari. It is burning with her. That is the way of all matter. Only the spirit remains. Or does it? The Gita says, the fire does not burn it, nor the water wet it. We will arrive at the truth one day and know it or not know it. I shall be so alone. You have me. It is a prerogative of mad men and Mahatma should talk to themselves. That's right. Look on the funny side of things. Guide me. Help me to know the right action. To do the right thing. The means must be in consonance with the end. 
If the end is to be good, the means must be good. Beware the argument that begins with a phrase in the national interest. It is usually an attempt to justify bad means, leading to an unethical act that goes against humanity. The fight becomes more difficult with every passing day. Did you guys aspirate as religion? Not unexpected. You encouraged it. Did I? You made politics a number game. You involved large masses of people in the struggle. Now no one talks to each other except through the crowd. If the British government is to quit India, then it should divide and quit. Partition the country. Pakistan for the Muslims, Hindustan for the Hindus. No! India for all Indians! India for all, a secular socialist republic. A religious Islamic state. Pakistan. Now look here, you fellows. Let us get this straight. You represent the Hindus, and I represent the Muslims. <coughs> no! No, no, no! We represent the people of India. Hindu, Muslim, or whatever. You represent only those Muslims who belong to the Muslim League. A majority of Muslims are not members of the League. Many are members of the Congress. As proof, I offer this. In 1937, the Muslim League won only 23% of the Muslim League in various legislatures of India. In other words, 77% of, of India's Muslims were not in the League. Out of 485 reserve Muslim seats, only 108 were won by the League. This is all link picking. More and more Muslims will join the league, by and by. Okay, let us sit together and talk, by all means. Unfortunately, the Gandhi Jura talks have failed. The Sula conference has failed. The cabinet mission is here. It consists of three wise men and true, set by Clement Attlee, the Prime Minister heading the new Labour government in Britain. Let us at least agree on an intimate government and get to help get used to the exercise of power. Very well. If you will add some seats to the Muslim League. Certainly. After 12 seats, we are leaving two to be filled by the appointees of the Muslim League. Two seats? That's ridiculous. That doesn't give proportional representation to the Muslims of India. But you don't represent all the Muslims of India. We have seen that since the pattern of the election since 1937. Well then, what you will see now is not nimby bimby civil disobedience, but direct action. Just a minute. Why don't we discuss it all with the new Viceroy, Lord Mountbatten? I know how well you get on with the Mountbatten. <coughs> Everyone knows. There are rumors. What do you mean? Are you implying that? Nothing, nothing, Jawaharlal. I'm implying nothing. I know you well enough to imply nothing. All I'm saying, quite clearly, is that everyone knows you asked Mount Batten to be the first Governor General of Free India. Ah, yes, that. The Congress felt it would be an appropriate gesture to help maintain the continuity of the Indo British relationship. Indeed, <coughs> indeed. It would help to keep it going. It would help to keep them here. Great fun and all that. I assure you that Dickie is not likely that any other consideration by his thinking. His answer is bound to be of great consequence to the subcontinent. Very well then, let's ask him. <coughs> well, now I have not only considered the details. What have you already considered with? He has saved of India and its armed forces. We have already promised past wars who went with the Germans and Japanese in order to develop the national army. Now, we have just had a mutiny of the Indian tapings of the Lord Indian Navy. I don't think we can hang much longer. And frankly, we have no wish to decide your destinies, whether you agree together or not. But we quit. Jinnah, I really think we should come to some sort of agreement. What do you say? We must have Pakistan. Now look here, old fellow. We must discuss this sense I think it's time for direct action day. There are coming out rights in the valley. What do you do? What do you do? I think you've turned away. I'm Muslim. No one is safe. What shall we do? Take me to Mount Kali. I shall walk the road and ask for peace. Matpati, Matpati! Matpati, Matpati, I come to you in the behalf of the Hindus. Help us. In here, there is a lot of killing, rape, and plunder. I shall come there too. First come, walk me in Nokhali, and then in Bihar. It's not safe. Well, you. I'm afraid. Okay then. I shall walk alone. You know the poet Tagore wrote a song in Bengali, which I like very much. It says, if no one will walk with you, walk alone. Ekla chalo, ekla chalo, ekla chalo.
पंजाब ये नाम है हंड्रेड थाउजेंड बट ये प्राइस इन प्राचेर बट इन कैलकटा देर इज वन मैन फोर्स नशे पर महात्मा गांधी एंड गिव एब्सोल्यूट पीस यू नो ऑन टॉप ऑफ एवरीथिंग इज वी आर हैविंग अ प्रॉब्लम इन पाकिस्तान अबाउट द डिवीजन ऑफ देयर एसेट्स दे से वी हैवेंट गिवन देम ऑल वी शुड बट डैश इट वी हैव गिवन देम द एंटायर कंट्री हैवेंट वी हाउ मच फॉर इट जिना स्किंग फॉर 55 करोड़ 55 करोड़ दैट्स 550 मिलियन रुपीस करेक्ट वी कैन नॉट अफोर्ड इट वी जस्ट कान आई लेफ्ट इट टू सरदार पटेल टू आंसर एंड व्हाट हैज ही टोल्ड यू नो इन इफेक्ट टू सकेंड्स वेल ही सेड दैट Blunt. Hmm. I suppose there's nothing Jinnah can do about it. What can Jinnah do about this? Dash it. This just isn't the time to be filling with details and accounting books. We're in the midst of a major upheaval. It's all Jinnah's fault anyway. <coughs> nothing would please me more than to die in the cause of common and harmony. I have always been opposed to the partition, uh, to the partition of the country. But now that it has happened. The division of, uh, with the concurrence of leaders on both the sides is <coughs> only right and proper. The division of the assets must be run precisely and correctly. However much it may seem to hurt us, we must stick to our moral principles. It's not accurate. It missed the target. But both the bullets hit the tree. That's a wrong view, you fool. I knew it was wrong to rely on you to supply the weapon. You just have to get closer to it. That's all. I'm sure it's not as difficult. Anyways, he refuses to keep any security around him. He's a madman after all. Go up to him and greet him. Take his blessing before you shoot him. You are quite a funny fellow, but you are right. He is a madman. But he is making weaklings of us Hindus. All this non-violence is not good for us. He he let partition happen. He sided with the Muslims. He is destroying this country. Why didn't he fast against partitions? Partition. But no, he threatens to fast for Pakistan's right to our money. And now Nehru and Patel have immediately delivered 55 crores of rupees to Pakistan. Shoot the swine. So Mohan, what are you doing? This is it. This is what. We can discuss this later as actors, but for now, be brave. Courage comes from doing what you believe in. Well said. For a fatty little boy, scatter the dog. You have scared the greatest hide yourself. Last week, a bomb was thrown at the prayer meeting. You did ask for increased security or police protection. Why are you reminding me all of this? I'm trying to put it off out of my mind. Very well, but this will make it stick in everyone's mind. I'm getting late for my prayer meeting. You are in time for history. Shab jana to. Was no ordinary.
ordinary life. The life that has illumined this country for these many years will continue to illumine this country. And a thousand years later, the world will see it and it will give solace to innumerable hearts. For that light represented something more than just the immediate present. It represented the living, the eternal truth. <laughs> Outstanding performance, right? Yeah. I would like to request them to come on stage and introduce us to our esteemed chief guest. Kriti Tiwari is a theatre practitioner, actor, and a drama educator of artists. She em embraced the stage when she was in school at a young age of 8 years. She has worked with theatre stalwarts like Ashish Vidyarthi, Sunil Sinha, John Bashford and Ashwat Bhatt. She is an alumni of Sri Ram Centre of Performing Arts, New Delhi. Kriti has performed as an actor in an excellent lineup of plays with groups like artist studio and directors like Noshad Mohammad, Yashwan Singh and Iklaq Khan. Kriti is an accomplished drama educator and teacher trainer working in the field of drama in education for, a, uh, for over a decade now. She has directed annual shows for schools in Bombay and Delhi. She is associated with 
theater professionals, drama school Mumbai and Akara. The applied theater based company, she has also been involved in various street plays on social awareness by WWF and programs for educational institutions. Her lovely energy and dedicated work brings about a great joy in the life of students and participate, uh, participants she worked with. Thank you. I now invite Satwa to give a token of appreciation to our chief guest uh, and the chief guest, uh, it would be uh, Ms. Kriti Diwali, we would request you to please come on stage. Thank you. out and proudly take your space on the stage. So don't hide in the wings. Okay, we can all shuffle a little bit and make space because you all deserve this space. And to everyone in the audience, the students started with a song about courage in the beginning, right? And it takes mammoth courage to bring a story alive on stage in front of an audience. So can we please give them a big round of applause? Especially when it's difficult years and you've gone online and you've done virtual work. It is very, very difficult to do this after that, isn't it? Yes. Do we agree? Yes. Are you all proud? Yes. yes. And so thank you so, so much for inviting me to witness this today. I had goosebumps. In fact, I would say goose flesh all over when I was watching you all because there were moments that were so powerful and as you said, in the end also and in the beginning that as actors and as characters you took us on a journey about the past that a lot of us have never witnessed but we got a chance to and it just always whenever I see a play which is historical it just reminds me that we must never ever take our freedom for granted so thank you for reminding us one more time how much valuable it is because so much blood, so much uh, strength, so much <coughs> unity, so much of thought has gone into what we are, where we are today. Isn't it? Yes. yes. And one small thing that I want to say, which is not small, is in a lot of schools when I work on an annual day, I see that there is so much of attention given, oh, ye perfect hona chahiye, wo perfect hona chahiye, we must have perfect props and the teachers are scrambling through it and they are trying to make perfect props and everything so that it should look good, it should look great in fact on uh, the stage. But what I was truly touched by today was the effort you all took in making the props yourself. The iron, the display, right? The cameras, they got my attention so much because I could see that detail and attention you have put in making that and they stood out. So it doesn't have to be very elaborate and grand. You, you don't have to spend so much money on these things because these things hold meaning on stage if you put meaning into it, which you did today. people, the actors, the musicians, the singers, everyone. It was wonderful and of course the director of the show who I would like to also come on the stage. So we can... Let's talk to the director how his experience has been and let's hear some words from you. 
Well done, guys. Uh, there are a lot of efforts like uh, student made and their parents also made about the costumes and other things. And I'm really glad, like a few of them are calling me like, Sir, is this prop is right? Sir, is this costume is good? But I'm really glad you guys took that effort and we can see that effort is showing here. And for me personally, I have never been to the journey of Gandhi uh, in my per life personally. But uh, through this performance, I really understand the idea of Ahimsa, what he really want to say. Apart from Ahimsa, what Mahatma is and who Mohan was. And because Mahatma is a thought which we are carrying forward in our days and, and this play is very important in these times when see the violence is all over the world and uh, taking courage to perform this play where we, we revisiting the thought like who was Mahatma and what was the Ahimsa mean to us because we are the Indian people who, who, who believes in the idea of Ahimsa from our culture only, from the tradition of this land. So it's really, you can say, the rooted play to this land and the experience it comes to. And I, and I, I sense that energy in the students when we were making the performance. Like, they were very curious about, like, why Gandhi took this decision? Like, he, why he uh, given 55 crores to Muslim, like, Pakistan? And I was like, mm, that's a question. Like, now, how we can go forward to this? And everyone having agreements and disagreements regarding that thought. But it was great that even without agreement and disagreement, we came a place where, okay, we can do this scene like that. Like, uh, where some was, some were the very difficult line for me, like when Jinnah says, more of the Mahatma, you become more of the Muslim, I will be. So it, this is the line which uh, very difficult for me to how we can portray and student really helped me to come on this journey because it's a highly political play and it's highly related to our history. So. It's become very crucial part like how this pe this student who are taking this idea forward because they will gonna talk about this in their classroom in their in their house with you so so it's very interesting like then what idea they are taking forward and what their personal uh, personal thought in this idea so I'm really glad like uh, most of them like everyone took it really well and I'm so glad not only the performers on the stage but the people who are working backstage. You can see the internet now, they are fabulous, like they are making props, working on costumes, they are so creative, I'm so happy to work with them. And congratulations, you did a fabulous job. And thank you, Sudeep and Ram for giving me this opportunity to get Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your inspiring words. That was really motivating. I now invite Sukti and Samya to introduce our director. <laughs> This show wouldn't have been a success without our director, Sudeep, Modak, and Rohit Thapa. To share about Sudeep, he started acting at the age of 10, attending theatre workshops and performing in plays as a child artist. He also, he also started reading about different approaches to acting and gained further understandings to the craft by attending workshops, conducting playwright, and director Chetan Dutta, actor Neeraj Kami, and Lee Stansberg for Kelly. Jeff Goldberg. He is also associated with Nasiruddin Shah's theatre company, Maltali, for six months closely. Sorry, closely. Closely observing the actor rehearse and prepare for performances. Returning to Sai Palanjapais in 2009, he assisted on a couple of her projects before she landed him his first major commercial break as a lead actor in her play, Sakhe Shajar. He is often seen in acting in TV shows, web series, films, and television commercials, apart from direct stage play and short films. Thank you. I now invite Ayoli to give a, give a token of appreciation to our director, Sudeep. 